This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson's part of the Express course and Course E. It is Lesson 21 in the Express course and Lesson 16 in Course E. Functions with the Harvester, Puzzle 4. Use the function to help the harvester pick the corn and pumpkins. All right, let's see what our function is. Check square for corn. Oh, right. And so if we run, if there is corn, so we do this conditional. We Our character will look around, check if there's corn. Yes, if there is, true, then this will run and we'll pick corn. If not, false, no, no corn. We don't do the pick corn. We hit the bottom of this and we would keep going. So what do we need here? Well, I need to go forward. Hmm. This one looks tricky because we've been using a loop to get to the pumpkin. Well, how many? One side, two side. I have an idea. What if we do repeat until pumpkin? And then while there's path ahead perfect so while there is path ahead we want to keep walking so first I want to get around this and then I can worry about grabbing the fruit repeat while there is path ahead move forward if not looks like we'd want to turn left Okay, I wonder what it would do if, let's put that in here for now, while well, there's path ahead, it's used twice, because then I think, eh, this will probably give us a bug, let's see, that gets us to the end, okay, great, so what happens there is while well, there's path ahead, so immediately I say, yep, path ahead, and I start moving, while path ahead, well, immediately I say, yep, there's path ahead. And then I dive into this and say, well, path ahead, move forward. So I move forward one, hit the bottom of this, check again, path ahead, path ahead, path ahead. And then I get to here and up path ahead. No, no, false, no path ahead. So I'm not going to move. And then I turn left. Then I hit the bottom of this. And since I turned left, I'm facing this way. Go back to the top path ahead. Yeah, that's true now. And so then I run through it again. So that's what gets me around the whole thing. All right, now what do I want to do? Well, if there's a path ahead, I want to check for corn, right? Because each time this runs, every step I take, I'm going to say move forward one. Now look for corn, check for corn. What happens? Uh, this function here runs, right? Check for corn. Zoop. And so I, if there is corn, I look, if there's corn, true. Yep, there's corn. Zoop. I pick it hit the bottom of this and we hit the bottom of our loop and now I would take another step. If there's not false, zoop, I don't do anything. So there's no error. I don't pick it, hit the bottom of this and then loop back around. So that should get the corn for us. Um, let's try it. The great thing about coding is you can always run things as much as you need. Great. Now, let's see, can we, oh, good. After we run the check square for corn function, I'm going to check if there's a pumpkin on each step. And that way we won't miss any pumpkins. And so, wall path ahead. Yep, path ahead. So I do wall path ahead. I move forward one. I check for corn. If there's corn, I pick it. Then I check for a pumpkin. If there's a pumpkin, I pick it. The only reason, once I hit a side, right? There's no path ahead. This wall loop stops. I go below it and I turn and then I hit this wall loop. So now that I'm turned, this wall loop is true, right? There is still path ahead and I drop in and run this again. So this allows me to turn and keep going all the way around the course. Let's try this. But ah, that one was tricky. Let's see show code. Oh yeah. Awesome. Let's keep going. 